was still going boom. Now that sound in the back. Yeah, boy. It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today. Why did I almost lose my breath? Jesus Christ, I'm back again today with another dripping, drip, drip, dripping reaction for you guys. Dripping up back, and I'm super, super excited. Dripping are definitely one of my favorite, more recent boy groups. I say more recent. I feel, I feel like I lose track of time in which groups are recent and which groups are not. Uh, they still feel like a very recent group to me. Uh, their brand new title track NMV is called Seven Sins. I'm not sure if they've dropped an album with this or not. Either way, I won't be doing an album first listen today. I'll just be checking out the title track NMV. Also, if you've missed all my past dripping reactions or if you feel like you've missed something that I've reacted to or if you're new here, uh, you'll be able to find all my other dripping reactions in my dripping playlist on my channel. I'm super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer. I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, let's go. Dripping. Seven Sins. MV. Let's go. I love how the Willem thing always changes. We can take it slow. <laughs> Is this about to be R&B? I have to turn it up. I'm gonna put. Well, oh, it's still going. Boom. Is 
there strings in the back? Yeah, strings. They are the vocals. Wow, wow. God, I need to make sure I remember to talk about everything that I want to talk about. That's the. I hate pausing. I hate pausing when it comes to listening to music and stuff. I need to listen to this song in its entire entirety. Um, but the downfall comes in, the down part, the downside is sometimes I forget all the things I want to say. Anyway, let me start from the ending there. Uh, the, I loved how full that last chorus is from the strings. I don't think I heard strings in the previous two choruses. But in that last final chorus, to make it more epic, the decision to use strings there Wow, 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 wow. Let's go back all the way to the beginning. Immediately, I was like, yeah, the vibes, this is going to be R&B. That, oh, 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 that melody, oh my God, how can something be so beautiful? How could something sound so stunning and be so catchy at the same time? Usually, I feel like, like it's either one or the other. Either something's really catchy or something's really beautiful, but that was both. Oh, absolutely fantastic. I loved the first verse, the first verse. Immediately it was R&B vibes and immediately I was taken aback by the visuals for the MV. Very smooth, very mature concept. Um, I loved the pre-chorus, then bang into the chorus. Those really, really nice melodies. Um, and then I love how we came into the second verse. Now in the second verse, we had those really gritty synths come in. I sometimes describe those synths as sounding like rips. I can't explain it, it just sounds like rips, like something's being ripped, it sounds like zippers. Do you know what I mean? It sounds like a zip, but it's like... I just love the use of those gritty synths coming into the second verse, but not switching up the song, if that makes sense. I feel like there weren't any switch ups within the song, however, the song didn't remain stagnant. Do you know what I mean? It was changing as the song was progressing, but without having switch ups, and I really, really like that. So you had those gritty synths come in. I also loved how sort of laid back and mellow the rapping was. It was melodic rapping. It was quite, it was just very smooth. Like I said, there was no need for aggressive rapping or anything like that. It just sounded really, 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 really good. And then something happened in the second pre-chorus and I can't remember what it was I wanted to say. I really can't remember. Um, but yeah, chorus comes in again, incredible. The bridge, stunning, and from the bridge, and there on, I mean, the vocals were impeccable from start to finish anyway. But from the uh, the bridge, the middle eight, and then going into the final chorus, the ad-libs were, oh my God, the ad-libs were so good from the start, but they just picked up so much more from the bridge and towards the end of the song. Like, the vocals, you guys know me, I love an ad-lib, and especially if it's like a vocal-driven song like this with that, that R&B genre. Ad-libs are so important and they were so incredible. Those high notes, it was just fucking incredible. Um, what else did I want to say? There was something about the bridge again that I wanted to say and I really can't remember. Also the choreo, I really like the choreo. The way the choreo comes in for that B chorus, fantastic. Oh, that's what I wanted to say, the harmonies. The harmonies all throughout the, uh, all throughout the song, all throughout the song was so Stunning, and they were used so well as ad libs. It just added so many layers within the song. It was a perfect R&B song. I really, really loved it. I loved the MV. The editing was incredible. The choreo was incredible. The styling was fantastic. Uh, there was something quite third gen about that, uh, which I'm here for. I feel like the girlies, the girl groups, have come back with quite a lot of R&B, um, especially when it comes to title tracks. And I feel like. Uh, we guys know R&B is my favourite genre. I feel like the boys are a little bit behind. Um, I feel like the boys are a little bit behind, but it's groups like Drippin' who constantly put out like great quality music that can put out these R&B tracks as title tracks and they can pull it off really, really well. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. Love you. Wanna follow me on Instagram, guys? Go follow me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye. Oh.